Nigeria's political mess is growing legs every day. The country is falling apart at the seams because the APC government are not ready to deal with the issues of terrorism and hunger in the land. They are treating terrorists with kid gloves. They turned a blind, a blind eye when terrorists went to farming communities and slaughtered people. They went to farming communities and set homes ablaze and chased all the people away. The people ran to IDP camps. They chased them to IDP camps to kill them so that they don't ever come back to their farming communities. They turned Benue State, the food basket of Nigeria, to a desert land. And today there's hunger in the land. High cost of everything. High cost of food items. High cost of living. And the people are starving. Practically, literally starving to death. So now the youths want to take their destiny in their hands once again. They have declared a day of cursing. It's a national day of prayer, but the youths of Nigeria have declared that this 25th February 2024 National Prayer Day will be a day of cursing. They are cursing a Mahmoud Yakub, the man that, that, that presided over the 2023 elections. Yes, they are raining curses on him and they are saying, Cursed be unto Mahmoud Yakub for allegedly rigging the 2024 elections against the wishes of Nigeria, against the wishes of the person Nigerians chose to be their president. They allegedly say he rigged the election, he took bribes from the APC government and decided to truncate the votes of the Nigerian populace. So the youth of Nigeria have declared 25th February 2024 as um, Youth National Prayer Day. They are calling Yakub, Yak, um, Mahmoud Yakub a cash and carry um, INEC chief executive. They say that Yakub's cash and carry 2023 presidential election was the reason for the current hardship Nigerians are going through because of the anti people policies of President Bola Tinubu's administration. Nigerians had actually gone ahead to reject the APC government in the elections and they alleged that this, the INEC chairman, Mahmoud, sold the elections to the highest bidder. So Sahara Reporters has, has uh, reported that um, the, the, uh, because of what he did at the election, he rigged the elections, brought Bola Tinubu to power, both Muslims Christians, traditionalist artists, they are now swearing for INEC chairman. They are cursing him and saying that he brought the wrong person. He rigged the election in favor of the person that Nigerians never voted for. That is the allegations that is making them now raise their voices. They are raising their voices to say on 25th of February, cursed be unto Mahmoud Yakub. They are cursing the INEC chairman. Well, the publisher of Sahara Reporters, Shawari, has described the prayer day as a waste of time because he is insisting that what they are planning to do will not change anything. Shawari uh, is somebody that has always said Nigeria needs a revolution, not a violent one, but he says they need a, a revolution that will liberate them, not just only prayers. So we're waiting for 25th day of February 2024 as Nigerian youths will gather on that day to rain curses on Mahmoud Yakub for allegedly selling the 2023 elections to the person Nigerians never voted for. He only sold it to the highest bidder. Well, this is the Jessica Brimer channel. I'm evangelist Jessica John Brimer. As a woman that fears God, as a woman that believes in prayer, I know that prayer works, but also... There are things that prayer won't do for you. There are things you as a human being will have to do for yourself. If you put food in front of you, you can't start praying that the food should enter into your tummy right now in the name of Jesus. You can't say that. You will only pray after praying. You will use your hands and put the food into your tummy. Use your hands to wash the dishes. Use your legs to walk to the kitchen and back. God will not do those ones for you. If you, if you believe that all you need to do is prayer, then you're making a mistake. There are things that have to be done and um, things are getting out of hand. The nation is at war. 
these invaders that Buhari brought in are ready to take over. They slaughtered their way through the nation. But Nigerians are yet to realize how serious the, their plight is. They are yet to realize this. I shared a vision once before my husband and I left Nigeria. A vision I had. Because uh, um, prior to my vision, my husband had been telling me that he has seen terrible vision about what is going on in Nigeria. At that time, Jonathan was in power. So there wasn't much killings and kidnappings. My husband would wake up every day and say to me, Jess, hmm, you can't believe what I saw today. I saw corpses on the streets. I saw shootings. I saw killings. I saw terrible things. He said, I also saw the nation being enveloped with darkness. He said the darkness was rushing in through the northern part of Nigeria and he was just enveloping the nation. And that he was just saying, hey, 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 what is this? What is this? And he woke up. He kept having such dreams and I honestly did not believe everything he was telling me, even though I know my husband doesn't lie about such things. I was like, why? Why are you always dreaming of this thing? Why must it be only this kind of dream you keep having? Until God showed me a revelation of being kidnapped. Kidnapped at gunpoint. Some ragtag army had kidnapped us in a large building and vowed to shoot all of us to death. And I was saying that dream, I haven't done anything. I'm not part of the evil. They said, we don't care whether you're part of the evil or not. We are killing everybody. And I, I don't know how I escaped from that dream. I was running from Lagos to Cotonou in that dream. I said, thank God I have my passport. I have my passport. I'm going to escape to London. I'll go from Cotonou to London. And then when I woke up, I knew that what my husband had been telling me is more real than we think. This happened in 2013 before we left Nigeria. Now everything is manifesting before our eyes now. Kidnapping, killings, raping, just because we allow Buhari to come into power to bring in his invading Fulani brothers from outside Nigeria to come and take over because Fulanis believe Nigeria belongs to them. Nigerians wake up. Something has to be done. Otherwise, they are going to finish up everybody. Those mansions you have, people are going to take over them. Ragtag army will take over in the name of, oh, we are Fulani headsmen. And what is enough for the wise? I keep asking God to show us mercy, show us deliverance, and just take over in his own way. The way that he can, he could just raise a deliverer for us in Nigeria. God should raise somebody. God should raise a people that will deliver us because at this rate, things have really gone bad and they're going from bad to worse. Thank you so much for stopping by my channel. Please subscribe to this channel. Click the thumbs up button and share, share, share. God bless you richly. And as you sign off, as I sign off, let me remind you to please give your life to Christ because iniquity is abounding, just as the Bible told us that in the end time, iniquities will abound. Jesus Christ is coming soon. What you ask yourself is, where do I spend eternity? Do I spend eternity in heaven or in hellfire? You alone can decide that. Give your life to Christ, mend your ways, and live the holy life that God designed for you to live. In Jesus' mighty name, thank you so much. God bless you richly.